In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the second mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance that dwells apart in a woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old, as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt. Show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you? the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of his inheritance, who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt. You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins, you will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. You have favored, O Lord, your land. You have brought back the captives of Jacob. You have forgiven the guilt of your people. You have covered all their sins. You have withdrawn all your wrath. You have revoked your burning anger. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Restore us, O God, our Savior, and abandon your displeasure against us. Will you be ever angry with us, prolonging your anger to all generations? Lord, show us your mercy and love. Will you not instead give us life, and shall not your people rejoice in you? Show us, O Lord, your kindness, and grant us your salvation. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Please stand. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and he will come to him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? 
and stretching out his hands, his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Good morning po. Pamilya. Ang pamilya ang dahilan kung bakit, di ba maraming yan, kung bakit, dat, dat, dat. Kung bakit ako nagsusumikap, kung bakit ako nagtatrabaho ng maayos, kung bakit ako nag-aaral ng maayos dahil sa aking pamilya. Our family can be a source of our strength, but it can also be the source of our weakness. It's a reality that we don't, we cannot deny. Alam natin yan. Kapag nagkaroon ka ng pamilya na maayos at maganda, swerte ka. Pero kapag nagkaroon ka ng pamilya na mga kasama ay mga walang hiya, ang malas mo naman. Kaya nga sa atin, lalo na sa atin mga Pilipino na tayo po ay family-oriented, family is everything. The reason for almost anything and for almost everything that we do. Kahit nga sa politics, eh, mapapansin ninyo, Ayan, suwertihan na lang minsan na kapag ka nagkataon na nagkaroon kayo ng politicians na hawak nila ang lugar ninyo, buong pamilya, maswerte kapag ka sila po'y mabubuti, uunlad ang lugar. Malas na lang kapag ka nataunan kayo na ang pamilyang politician na taon sa inyo ay mga walang hiya, sugapa. Hindi ba? Malas. Kahit saan, we work and we fight for our family. It's a reality of life. Di natin madidinayan. Meron nga isang lugar ngayon, may isang bansa na nasira dahil sa isang pamilya. Pangalanan ko na, nasa news naman, Isra Lanka. Isra Lanka is a very good place. Kaso, nasira ng isang pamilya. Nung nanalo yung isa na isang prime minister, presidente, lahat, nilagay, nilagay, lahat nung sa pwesto, mga kamag-anak, kamag-anak incorporated, ayun na. Ano nangyari? False policies, mga maling palisiya, panggobyerno, mismanagement, corruption ng buong pamilya, ayun na, nasira ang buong bansa. O, kita nyo na yan. Sometimes, we love our family and there's nothing wrong with that. Kaya nga kahit sa Ibanghilong binasa natin, dito natin makikita that there are two levels of being a family. Two levels. Unang level yung tinatawag natin na biological, physical. Hindi natin maidi-deny na, si na si Jesus ay anak ni Maria. Hindi ba? Kahit dito, kapag ka meron kayong anak, hindi nyo madidinayan. Kapag ka may nanay kayo, hindi nyo madidinayan. Kaya nga, nakakalungkot minsan na kapag ka may mga anak na dinidinay ang kanilang nanay o mga magulang. Di ba last election, meron isang politician, dininay ng kanyang anak. Maraming nagalit, of course. Hindi mo naman talaga maidi-deny. Biological, physical. That kind of level, hindi mo kayang i-deny. Bakit? DNA test na lamang eh. It can be confirmed. Kaya kung minsan maraming nag-aaway, hindi ko anak yan. Oh. Pa-DNA test. Oh, hindi mo na ma-deny kapag ka nagkapareho. Yung level na yon hindi kayang i-deny ni Kristo. Kahit sa atin, di ba, kapag kadugo natin, ito, namimili tayo kapag kadugo natin, kapag sikat, mayaman, oh, ito pa, 
maganda ang standing sa community. Uy, kamag-anak namin yan si ano. With picture taking pa yan. Di ba? Totoo ito. Kahit ako nung nasa sem seminarista pa lang, konti lang kamag-anak ko. Blood. Nung naordinahan ako, nag-thanksgiving mass sa amin, sa Dabaw, nagtataka ako, puno ang simbahan at ang sabi, kamag-anak ko ang karamihan. Sabi ko sa sarili ko, Aba, ang dami ko palang kamag-anak, pero naghirap kami at gumapang aming pag-aaral na saan ito mga walang yang ito. <laughs> Di ba? By blood. Proud tayo kapag ka nasa magandang ano, estado yung ating kamag-anak. Kadugo. Pero kapag ka nabalitaan natin na medyo kaduda-duda at merong ginawang masama, Kamag may kamag-anak kayo doon, kaapilido ninyo. Nahuli. Doon sa bahay nila, marami ng drugs. <laughs> kamag-anak nila, may kamag-anak yun. Kaapilido lang namin yun. O ba diba, todo dinay agad tayo. Kapag ka medyo masama, ah, at kamag-anak yan. Kaapilido lang namin yan. Pero pag mabuti, nasa magandang standing, lako. With todo picture pa. Natural man lang yun. Tsaka normal din yun. Kayong mag-alala. To deny and to affirm. Kaya sa ibang hilang binasa natin, sinasabi ni Kristo dito, hindi lamang batayan yung blood. Hindi lamang batayan yung physical. O, ito na. Sa spiritual level, ang batayan ay hindi na yung dugo. Hindi na yung race kundi yung tinatawag natin na commitment to be obedient to the will of the Father. Kaya nga kung tatanungin ninyo, Father, na-offend ba si Mama Mary nung, ti, nung sinabihan siya ni Kristo na yung sino nga ba ang nanay ko? Sino nga ba ang mga kapatid ko? Whoever does the will of my father is my brother, my sister, and my mother. Na-offend ba si Mama Mary that time? Hindi. Actually, the statement of Jesus Christ and affirmation that if you want to be the standard, oh, the standard of being, sabi na natin, a spiritual mother, it was Mary who is the standard of the obedience to the Father. Kaya tayong lahat dito, kapag tayo po ay isinasabuhay na natin at ating pating pananampalataya, we become obedient to the will of the Father then we become brothers and sisters in Christ. Kaya pansin ninyo sa mga grupo dito sa simbahan, mga Eucharistic ministers, anong tawag na sa isa't isa? Sis, brad, di ba? Yung mga merong mga grupo dito, mga lectors, anong tawag nyo? Sis, brad, o kung ano paman. Because in our ministry here, we become brothers and sisters. Kaya pagka may namamatay at inililibing, anong tawag natin sa kanya? Ating kapatid. Nawawala na yung pagiging nanay, pagiging lola, pagiging kapat. Kung ano pa, we become brothers and sisters. Ang batayan ay yung yes ni Mama Mary. That is the mataas na standard. Kaya nga ang sinabi ni Kristo ito sa atin, doon sa kanyang mga, doon sa audience, Perhaps they were shocked. But I think, and perhaps, Mary was smiling because Mama Mary is the first one to say yes to the Lord. And palagi niyang sinasabing yes all throughout her life. Kaya sa rosario, di ba? Pag nagdadasal tayo ng rosario, joyful, sorrowful, glorious. Anong palaging sinasabi ni Mama Mary? kakabit doon yung sinasabi niya, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done unto me according to thy word. Kaya nga tayo po nandito sa simbahan, bagamat ako'y tawag niyo sa akin, Father, pero kapatid niyo rin po ako sa pananampalataya. Magkapatid tayo sa pananampalataya. 
Kaya kung minsan may mga may edad na dito, tatawag sa akin na Father, magbe-bless. Minsan sinasabi ko nga eh, ako ba, kayo ba magbe-bless o ako? Sa pagkasatotoo lang, because of our faith, on that spiritual level, we become members of a bigger and spiritual family, the church. Kaya nga ang tawag natin dito, di ba? Madalas sinasabi sa simula pa lang, di ba? My dear brothers and sisters, before we start the Mass, My dear brothers and sisters, we offer each other the sign of peace. Kaya tayo po'y pinag-iisa sa ating pananampalataya and our standard is the yes of Mama Mary. Tandaan po natin ito. Tayo po'y magkakapatid, hindi na lamang sa dugo, kundi sa pananampalataya, sa pagsunod, sa kalooban ng Diyos Ama. And Mama Mary is our model. Kaya nga, kung titignan natin, we check each other. Tinitingnan natin ang bawat miyembro ng ating pamilya, yung kadugo, ay naaayon ba sa kalooban ng Diyos. Ang nagiging standard natin, hindi na lamang yung pagmamahal mo dahil kadugo mo, kundi yung values na binibigay sa atin ng Diyos. Ano po yun? Yung kutot-katotohan ng magmahal, magpatawad, umunawa, yan, pinapraktis yan sa isang pamilya. Gumawa ng tama at katulad ni Mama Mary na sinabi niya, I am the, the servant of the Lord. Let it be done unto me according to thy word. We are one family because of faith, because of our yes to the Lord. Hindi ba, mga kapatid? Let us all stand. Gathered together as a community, let us ask God the Fa our Father for our needs and for every petition we shall answer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may become a true family, faithful to the will of the Father, and to the teachings of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may not enact laws or initiate programs contrary to our faith and morals, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families may become true brothers and sisters by their love for one another as willed by Jesus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show concern for those suffering in any form, that we may lighten their burdens and help them to keep trusting in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may come to their ever everlasting home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions and we also pray for the safety of all those who are traveling today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, help us to become your faithful children who are obedient to your holy will. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work in human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work in human hearts and become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through Him, with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels, as in a joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be God into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, so that as a bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the, the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the... We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and afterwards the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and religious articles and images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil and other articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat po and have a nice day.